All right, ELE 111. Here's section 7-2, the final of um, the final of the working problems for series parallel. Um, you've got something similar to this in uh, homework, so I want you to take a look at this uh, discussion that we have here. Here's a weird-looking circuit. It's kind of misleading in that uh, this resistor is kind of hanging up towards the top, and I want you to know that you can drop it down to face ground like the rest of the wires in this circuit in these three spots. That will be the first thing that you should do to make life easy for yourself, okay? Uh, second thing is we want to find the voltages with respect to points. So the points that we're after is VA, VB, VC, and VD. And what we need to realize is things like VD, which directly link to ground here, this is just the voltage of the fifth resistor, okay? So when you're solving this circuit, you're actually solving for the circuit voltage of R5. When you're solving for something else like oh, VC, well, VC is located right here and directly to ground is the battery. So you already know what VC is. VC is equal to 100 volts. There's no need to solve for that one. Uh, same thing in your homework. There's no need to solve for that one. You've already got it figured out. The uh, voltage from A is just resistor 1 to ground. And the voltage B is essentially the voltage between these two resistors. If you add VR1 and VR2 up, you will get what VB is equal to. And that's realistically what we're after in this circuit. So we have... Um, we have... Uh, redrawn the circuit below here and uh, you can see that um, this this is definitely true uh, vr6 is equal to the battery i mean they're directly in parallel with each other no ifs ands or buts so vr6 which is vc is also 100 volts okay you with me the other thing I want to warn you about is there's more than one way to solve this circuit. You can break it down into little bite-sized chunks, or you can, uh, you can look at it from a higher level, um, like I'm about to do, and solve it using fewer steps. Okay, and what I'm talking about is this little bubble here that is circled off to the right uh, for VR4 and VR5. Um, it's rather easy to um, it's rather easy to calculate the voltages for four and five because that's a series circuit right there. That is a series circuit, and you can calculate using nothing but voltage divider um, in a series circuit. So I took the liberty here of building the voltage divider equation, which is the voltage times the unknown resistor, which is R4 in the first example, divided by the sum of RT. Now, we're not talking about RT for the whole circuit. We're talking about RT for just this little, this little section right here, okay? It, that's marked in red. This is all we're talking about. So 5 and 4 is 9K, and you calculate a 44.44 volt voltage for that point for VR4. Now, if you feel like it, you could use Kirchhoff's voltage law, which would probably be the easiest, to take this 100 volts here and remove from it 44.44 volts, leaving you VD, which is right here in the, uh, let's change colors on this, let's go blue. In the blue circle is 55.55. Now, if you don't want to use KVL, you could use voltage divider again and go through the ritual of taking 100 volts and multiplying it times R5, R5 being where we want the voltage to be computed, and going through and, uh, 
and adding that uh, and multiplying that together will give you 55.55 volts. Looking at the circuit on the other side, there's also a series circuit there. It's kind of hidden. R3, 4, or 2, and 1 are uh, a series circuit. And uh, um, from, from the perspective of point C, which is the battery voltage right there, you see? So that is feeding the rest of this circuit in here to ground. So we have the right to solve for VA in one step using voltage divider. Now you could do other things. You could add those three resistors, divide it into 100 volts, find the current, use Ohm's law. It'll get you the same place, but we end up with 16.66 volts for VR1, and that's otherwise known as VA. VB, which is the sum of R2 and R1, and we want to try and get rid of this blue out of there. VB. VB consists of two resistors, okay? VB consists of two resistors. That is the 2K and the 1K. So we put that up on top, and that's 3,000 ohms divided by RT. This RT is not RT for the whole circuit. It is that RT, which is just a series channel, 3, 4, 5, 6,000 ohms, and we get 50, 50 volts for VB. Isn't that great? And that basically sums up that problem. I've gone ahead and, and shot some voltages down towards the bottom for you to look at, um, which are the values that we actually computed working the circuit.